Today we have some more news on the Bungie layoffs and it does not look good. New sources claim Bungie decided to lay off these employees on their own and wasn't forced by Sony's hand. Many employees are out, including Michael Salvatore, who's been with the company for over 20 years and was responsible for bangers like this. Mike, along with all of these developers, were super talented, but now they're out of a job. An article from Bloomberg states Destiny's revenue is down 45% for this year's projections. CEO Pete Parsons pins this on weak player retention for Destiny 2, which has faced a poor reception since the release of Lightfall. Today we recap this news and more. In the wake of the terrible news yesterday, many of us didn't know what to think. Was this a result of Sony's acquisition of Bungie? Moving employees around and bringing in new people to take their jobs? Maybe, but today Paul Tassi from Forbes has tweeted an image from an anonymous source that shed some more light on this subject. The layoff decisions came directly from Bungie management, not Sony. This is not about Sony replacing Bungie employees with their own people. Many employee benefits, though not health insurance, only last until the end of the month if you're let go. Laying people off on the 30th means a single additional day of coverage. Many employees had unvested shares as a result of the Sony purchase. These shares would be received based on staying with the company for a certain number of years following the sale. But those shares revert to Bungie if you leave, even if you're fired, which is what's happening now to many of those affected. Tassi also said this may be a part of a wider cost-cutting at Sony in multiple areas, but as an independent entity who gets cut, the timing and terms as above are Bungie's decision. To clarify an earlier point, health insurance lasts until severance ends, other benefits end today. So if this is true, it's coming from a reliable source, I assume this is pretty terrible on Bungie's part. Under Tassie's tweets, there are some responses, including one from developer Jamie Griesmer, who was with Bungie back in the Halo days, but also seemed to get fired or leave for one of these same reasons. He said, this is par for the course over there. Your most dangerous day is the day before you vest. A user said, now I see why you and so many others left back in the day. Heartbreaking to see this stuff unfold. To which he responded, I literally had my vesting papers in my hand and they took them away. Marty O'Donnell, former composer of the Halo stuff, was also fired long ago, and he's even retweeting some of Griesmer's tweets. A second tweet from Tassie goes on to say, Many Bungie employees that were fired found out in the morning when they were locked out of services, logins, email access, revoked. Others who instead found out in meetings were told not to tell team members themselves, as the teams would be told by other means. Many employees were unable to say goodbye or exchange contacts. Many team managers were not told at all about who on their team was being laid off and only found out as it happened. Zavaller shared some of the emotions from a DM from a Bungie employee. This morning, my day off, I woke up to a text telling me to make my way to the office for an important meeting. When I got there, the news had already been broken. It was a nightmare. People were crying at their desks, packing stuff up, and I checked my email and I got the unfortunate news. I wasn't even told in person. By the time I left, my badge and everything had already been deactivated. I don't know what I'm going to do at all. So some of these people showed up to work, they were told there was an important meeting and learned they were fired. Others found out before they got there, when they realized they were locked out and their access has been revoked. Imagine being a team manager, maybe of design for example, and you just find out that some of your colleagues are gone. So clearly this hurts, there was so many people let go just before the holidays as well, some of them expressing their emotions on their Twitter accounts. Unfortunately, it seems like that's how things work with these corporations nowadays. We've seen it with Naughty Dog. We've seen it with Blizzard. Now, though it does happen this way, that's the reality of it. It doesn't necessarily make it all right. 
Among these layoffs, Mike Salvatore, one of the composers for Destiny, who's been with Bungie for over 20 years, was even there in the Halo days with Marty O'Donnell, has been fired as well. In an email to Paul Tassi, he said this, Hi Paul, thanks for reaching out to me and for your kind words. The last 24 hours have been crazy and I'm still sorting through my feelings. Many of my good friends were also let go and I feel awful for them. My heart goes out to everyone who lost their job yesterday. Regarding myself, the overwhelming feeling I have is one of gratitude. Beginning in 1997, Bungie provided me the opportunity to contribute music to some of the most amazing games ever made. I've been truly blessed to work with so many awesome creative people over the years. I've learned so much from them, not only as a composer, but as a human being during my time there. One of the things I always loved about being a part of a team was our willingness to take risks, which has always been a part of Bungie's DNA. And when we would fail, we wouldn't retreat, we'd reload. This is at the heart of what kept me engaged year after year, through success and failure. I truly wish all the best for my friends who are still there, and I have no doubt they will be able to right the ship. To the fans, please don't hate on them. Give them a chance to blow you away, like they've done so many times before. Peace to all, Mike. So as a fan of this game, someone who's made videos on it for years, this just hurts my heart and so many others. Many of us love this game, love this company, and when you see something like this, it just hurts. Mike's been there for over 20 years, and just reading some of the lines from that email, it's just so messed up, this whole situation. He tells the fans, please don't hate, give them a chance to blow you away. They failed and overcome that many times before and reloaded, which could be true. Bungie could improve, move on from this, right their wrongs. But given the information we learned today that this wasn't from Sony and was actually from Bungie themselves, it isn't really helping their case. Now again, this information comes from Paul Tassi, a well-known journalist who's got this information from a source. Bungie, I'm sure, should respond sometime soon. Their CEO has sent out tweets like this, but if this information we talked about in this video is true, they definitely need to address it, right? If you're watching to this point of the video, there's actually some new news that came out from Jason Schreier. Sony's Bungie game unit cut 8% of staff after Destiny Play wilted. Sales at studio were running 45% below projections for the year. Layoffs are a part of a bigger revamp at Sony PlayStation unit. Bungie laid off around 8% of staff Monday or around 100 people, sources tell Bloomberg. Two weeks ago, staff were told they were projected to miss revenue targets by 45%. Employees were galvanized to get things on track. Then came the surprise layoffs. So again, until Bungie clarifies and gives their own part of the story if they do, it seems this was Bungie's choice due to these low sales, but it was also part of a bigger revamp at Sony's PlayStation Studios. So that's all we have for today's video, keeping you updated on this information. If you'd like to see some more Destiny news, lore, and mysteries, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.